Hello everyone. In the last video we discussed about the term genetics and also some of the important terms used in the genetics. We also discussed Mendel's experiments on garden pea and also Mendel's law of inheritance. But later on it was found that Mendel's law of inheritance is not always applicable. There is deviation from Mendel's law. Today we are going to discuss about this deviation from the Mendel's law of inheritance. First, we will discuss about modification in the monohybrid ratio. Modification of monohybrid ratio. Mendel proposed the phenotypic monohybrid ratio of 3 is to 1. But this type of phenotypic ratio is only seen when a pair of allele has dominant and recessive relation. If no such relation is present between the pair of alleles, then this monohybrid ratio is modified. One of the example of the modification of the phenotypic monohybrid ratio is incomplete dominance. It is also known as partial dominance or semi-dominance. In this, heterozygotes express the intermediate phenotype that is not present in either of the parents or that is different from the parental phenotype. This is due to the blending of the phenotypic expression. Alleles maintain their individuality. It means these are distinct or discrete. During the gametogenesis, these segregate and then the random fusion of the gametes takes place. The offsprings that are obtained expresses their parental phenotype in the homozygous state. Heterozygotes express intermediate phenotype different from their parental phenotype. We can understand this incomplete dominance with the example of 4 o'clock plant or Mirabilis chalapa. This is the parental generation, both are homozygous. One has red flower and one has white flower. This is crossed. Each of the plant produces one type of the gamete. These fuse and the F1 generation which we get is heterozygous and all has pink flowers. So why this is pink nor red or white? Because these two alleles do not show dominant and recessive relationship. Hence these do not show the phenotypic expression as in the parental type. But when these are to get present together, this shows the intermediate phenotypic expression. And here the intermediate phenotypic expression is pink flowers. Now the, this F1 generation is self-fertilized. Each of the plant, male plant and female plant, produces two types of the gametes and these fuse randomly and offsprings are produced. This is the F2 generation. We can show it with the punit square. Here one offspring is homozygous for red, one offspring is homozygous for white and two are heterozygous. We get one red flower plant two pink flower plant and one white flower plant. It means though in the heterozygous state, this shows the blending of the expression, but these maintain their individuality. When they are in the homozygous state, then they expresses parental phenotype. In case of capital R, red and in case of small r, white. But when these are in the homozygous state, 
then sh this shows the blending of the phenotypic expression and then we get to pink flower plant this is the phenotypic ratio if we see the genotypic ratio that is also one homozygous red two heterozygous and one homozygous white so genotypic ratio is also 1 is to 2 is to 1 here the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio both are same and this phenotypic ratio is not the Mendel's monohybrid ratio but it is modified one second is co-dominance like in complete dominance in the co-dominance also alleles lack dominant and recessive relationship in the heterozygous state both the alleles express themselves so the traits of both the alleles occur side by side and in the f2 generation it has both the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio same that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 we can understand this with the example of the cattle in which the parental generation is homozygous for the white coat color and the, the other is homozygous for the red coat color then each produces one type of the gamete then the fusion of the gametes takes place and we get the f1 progeny which is heterozygous it has the roan coat color then it is self fertilized two types of the gametes are produced and the random fusion takes place between the gametes and the f2 progeny has one white coat color two roan coat color and one red coat color here the both the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio is same 1 is to 2 is to 1 roan coat color it is not intermediate between the white coat color and red coat color but it is the mixture of both the red hairs and the white hairs codominance is also seen in the ab blood group and mn blood group if the lethal alleles are present then it results in the modification of Mendel's monohybrid phenotypic ratio which is 3 is to 1. What are lethal alleles? Alleles whose expression results in the death of an organism is known as lethal allele. Suppose there is certain gene present which is essential for the survival of an organism. It undergoes mutation and due to this it creates certain LL whose expression results in the death of the organism or causes the death then it is known as lethal LL. Lethal LL is of two types recessive lethal LL and dominant lethal LL. Recessive lethal LL shows its lethality or causes the death of an organism only in the homozygous state. But dominant lethal LL shows lethality even in the heterozygous condition. So it is rare because if this dominant lethal LL is present, then the individual will die before producing its progeny. So this dominant lethal LL is removed from the population in the same generation in which it occurred. Now let us see this recessive lethal LL with the example of snapdragon. In the snapdragon, three types of the plants occur. Green plant which is homozygous dominant and it is green in color because chlorophyll is present. Aurea which is yellowish green which is heterozygous and it is yellowish green due to the presence of the carotenoids. White plant which is homozygous for the lethal LL small c. Here chlorophyll is absent 
so it dies. Two aurea plants are crossed. Each produces two types of the gametes. Then these fuse randomly. And then we get the offspring in which one is green, two aurea and one albino. So we get the plants in the ratio one green is to two aurea is to one albino. But this albino plant has the homozygous recessive allele. It is white in color because the chlorophyll is not produced, so it dies. So the phenotypic ratio which we get is 1 is to 2 instead of Mendel's monohybrid phenotypic ratio 3 is to 1. In humans, the recessive lethal LL is seen in sickle cell anemia. In this, the red blood cell is sickle shaped instead of biconcave oval shaped. This affects the oxygen carrying capacity of the red blood cells and also hinders the blood circulation which ultimately results in the death of the individual. This is the allele for the sickle cell. When it is in the homozygous condition, it results in the sickle cell anemia and the individual dies. In the heterozygous condition, where one is the normal LL and one is the LL for the sickle cell, then the individual do not exhibit or do not show any symptoms. It is indistinguishable from the normal individual, but it is carrier. It carries the LL for the sickle cell from one generation to another generation. If the individual is homozygous for the LL for normal RBC, then the individual is normal. It neither shows any symptoms nor it is carrier. This is the parental generation. Two heterozygous individuals are crossed. Each produces two types of the gametes. Then their random fusion takes place and the offspring which we get is one normal, two carrier, and one has the sickle cell anemia. So this individual dies. Hence the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 and this is also the genotypic ratio. There are four categories of lethal alleles. One is the early onset gene or alleles which results in the early death of the organism mainly during the embryogenesis is known as early onset. Late onset alleles which show delayed effect as a result of which the individual survive for some time and later on it dies or succumb to death or death occurs is known as late onset. Conditional lethal allele, allele which results in the death of organism under certain environmental condition but not in the other condition is known as conditional lethal allele. Example temperature sensitive lethal allele which causes the death of the organism at high temperature but the organism survive or the individual survive in the optimum temperature. Semi lethal allele. allele which kills or cause the death of only few individuals in the population but not all is known as semi-lethal allele. So this is all in today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about modification of Mendel's dye hybrid ratio. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.